Hey everyone, and thank you for coming back to Hill Snails Forties World, where it's all entertainment, fun, laughs, kikis, and ha ha's. Okay, and it's always considered a family affair. Yes, I haven't forgotten my slogan back in the past in the heyday, but we just come and dropping videos because we feel like it, and I need a tax write off. Okay. Ooh, child, we're going to get into this video here where we're going to be talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 and who's going to come back. Who's going to make the cut, y'all? Is it going to be uh, Candy? It, well, here we already know Candy coming back because she books stories on different blogging um, profiles or, or platforms and talking in fan clubs and all this other stuff. And here she's probably been speaking on it on her YouTube channel. Speak on it. And give a shout out to ATL and Michelle Brown, honey, over there doing her thing. I used one of her videos, I mean, one of her pictures of Sheree. Folks, if you want to get me, you know, I'm a little blogger, I'm a little person on the little pole of the tree or the fence. I hope that she won't get me for just using one of her pictures, okay? But if y'all like a lover and got to see her for her entertainment celebrity news, go on over there to uh, the ATL and show. You have something for you. But anyway. Who coming back, y'all? Who coming back? We already know Candy coming back, okay? I don't know what she's doing. I guess she needs to straighten out her restaurants and her other business and ventures. So this is like a cash cow to her. So salute you, Candy. Keep doing what you got to do. If they keep on you bad, why not? Go on and just keep getting it while it gets good, okay? You know, I'm talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. Candy Coin over there trying to, you know, stir stuff up. I'm like, can we can we trade him in? Okay, we can't trade nobody else in from the same old limbo cast. I mean, I don't know what Drew Shador was giving us or Drew Sador. I don't know what she giving us. Then they were saying Marlo Hampton going to have a peach herself. And then, you know, I don't know. What would she bring? Watching her two nephews telling us about um, how to do crime and get away with it. I don't know. Okay. Uh, you know, hey, this is what she was saying doing a lot of suspicious things, okay, other than dating single, uh, old, older, seasoned white men, okay, so I don't know, they probably her a call girl or something like that, I'm not sure, y'all get back with me with those facts, because all of it's allegedly over here, but would they bring any leaks back, and they have all just joke about that, they ain't standing in any, they ain't standing now, it's just one of those things, two ships passing in the night, but they want to bring Sheree back, y'all. I'm like, hey, why don't we bring Kim Gozad back? I hear she taking up a GoFundMe fund because she's running out of cash over there in her camp. Well, you know, she got her show counts and all this stuff. And then somebody told me she had a GoFundMe thing, you know. But I don't know. I mean, Eva, is she still with the uh, radio personality show on Ricky Smiley? I mean, what is she doing? I know she was selling jewelry at one time. But I don't think she's coming back. But I just throw, you know, a few people out here to see what y'all take was on it, who y'all want to see come back. Me, personally, I wish they just banned the show all together because I didn't watch season 13. I just caught other bloggers and, you know, parlayed into what they were saying and kind of mixed here and there with a video here and there, here or two, two, three, four. Well, you know how I go. You know how I go. I was like, oh, they ain't finished with this. <laughs> Haven't we put a fork in it? It's done. Okay, they took the main players out, which was Sadra. You know, I thought it would be a good sparring uh, battle with the words and stuff between her and Ken and Portia. You know, let's you know, see what we can do there. And, you know, we got a little instigator, Marlo Hampton, trying to find out this, that, and the third. And you got to kill you because she wants a storyline, too. Because she tried to make a storyline that Marlo wants her house. I'm like, girl, girl. Okay, but I don't know, and we can't seem to get representative. She just seems to be the main, I don't know, <laughs> the main <sighs> ingredient in a drink, I guess you would call it. We just can't seem to get rid of her. And maybe she's not the highest paid on the show anyway, so it'll just be also up of a coin. She would bring two people in to just get rid of Cynthia's spot or what we do because I really thought she was gonna go build some housewives in LA or something or New York. But I guess Gabrielle uh what's her, what's her name? It ain't Gabrielle Union, but it's uh the other lady that played on um something with J Jamie Foxx a long time ago. Uh maybe I pronounced her name wrong. Maybe it ain't Gabrielle, maybe it's uh shoot, I can't think of if y'all know who she is, put it down in the comments if you uh feel you need to do so. Uh, clue me because I ain't got a clue right now. 
let's go on into this article that I found on Candy talking about uh, the Real Housewives uh, season and 14. Are we ready for it? They're going to be soon taping or uh, gearing up to taping the first part of September. And she don't really know who cast members are coming back, what cast members are coming back, you know, I'm like, girl, this ain't your first rodeo, yeah, you do know, but she just wanted everybody to know that she got her letter saying they would love for her to return back if she chooses to do so, and of course, you know, she's gonna say, hey, get it while the iron is uh, striking hot, okay, she got many uh, irons in the fire, as they say, but honey, one that's stable and content and love her, Real Housewives of Atlanta, why not go get it? Get it while it gets good. Okay, while the cow is still fat and dripping milk. Okay, get the milk and honey if you must. But don't sell your soul to be able to be in that line, like, okay? But yeah, they talk about they want Sheree back. I'm like, what's she gonna do? We already got the ball collected between Candy and um Kenya and uh, Cynthia. Okay, and if we got rid of Kenya and then let her uh, be a ball collector, but just be the villain like she normally is, you know, pretty sassy with the tongue, but I tell you, baby would have gave her a match, honey, they don't match, you get twirl on out of him, but twirl does what she does best, and it's start crap, and look pretty, starting it, ending it, and anything else she can do with it, okay, but anyway, if we go to ScreamRant.com, check it out, it's a new blogging site, it titles itself, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Candy Burst Confirms, she is returning to the show for season 14. Okay. Hello, Lord. Wherever there's going to be money to be made, she's the money tree. Okay. She's going to make something come out of something. Okay. And I can't wait to see her spinoff show with the OLG restaurant and all the comings and goings of her being or her restaurants being in the news lately about uh, poor ratings and, and poor uh, safety hazards. Uh, or food inspections, as well as some um, things that's just not kosher in them for the safety of the consumer, okay? But just going past that and moving on back to this article, it said, Candy Burris recently confirmed that she is returning for season 14 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta since season 13 wrapped early this year. There's been a lot of speculation surrounding the upcoming cast of Bravo series. Several current cast members are rumored to be leaving the series, such as Cynthia Bailey and Portia Williams, while some former housewives are rumored to be returning, one of them being Sheree Whitfield. Okay, and I'm like, oh my God, Sheree, what can Sheree possibly bring to the table of this real housewives, unless she's going to be still dating her ex, or is he out, the one that was the convict? Had to go to jail for some time and she tried to make a storyline out of that. Boy, wasn't nobody really believing it. But, you know, I guess you can't find love about the lockup. I don't know. Y'all tell me. I've never been in, put, I never put myself in that type of situation, I should say. But anyway, uh, and Portia Williams uh, never really wanted to do anything on her because, like I said, I was disappointed when I heard that uh, she had called herself falling for a man that had actually filmed with one of her co host, I don't want to say co stars, but. She had an affiliation with her, whether it was a friend or a friend of a friend or whatever. You know, they, they t was taping on the same show. And that's what I'm talking about is the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You remember Fallon? Fallon was married to uh, uh, Simon uh, G. We just put Simon G. But a lot of talk been on them streets been saying he ain't worth a two cent. Okay? He ain't worth a two cent. And a womanizer at that. And a party goer. He ain't got time to raise no family. He, he, I guess he's substituting Fallon for Portia. And she's going to be sitting down with the kiddos. I don't know. Okay? Which I can't see Portia really doing that either. But you never know. When you marry a, um, a billionaire. Oh, excuse me. A billionaire, millionaire. And then somebody said he's just worth some thousands. Hundred thousand. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all check it out. Y'all let me know, okay? I'll just report what I want to report and talk about what I want to talk about. Because it's just mind, mind numbing. Very mind numbing, okay? Just like, kind of bring Kim back. She ain't got no money. She ain't doing that. Or she might got some money, but ain't falling like it used to be. All that milk and honey. I'm like, does she need to go find another big papa? Because that ex football riding the bench, uh, husband of hers, don't see like no income coming in. 
I'm just saying. I'm just peeping in the window. Don't know what I'm talking about or how I'm talking about it, okay? I just thought I'd put my skin on it, all right? And see if anybody would concur with me or disagree. You know, neither here nor there. We just, you know, chewing the fat over here, just making conversation. But anyway, going back to the article, uh, you know, they always be talking about Cynthia Bailey's going to leave, okay? Portia left Div, uh, Dish Nation. Some people want to say she didn't get her contract renewed. And I'm like, okay, that is a possibility. That's a possibility. And she's just trying to save face. And just want to leave on top saying that, you know, she decided to scale back, cut back. Because she got too many jobs going on. She got the gold naked hair. She got the, um, what do you call it, the, the bed wear lining uh, platform. She's trying to uh, keep solidified, making her some money, revenue. And then, you know, she still got the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But she's, you know, saying oh, she's marrying this uh, billionaire, millionaire, or $100,000 man. I don't know. And she feels she don't need to be working all these jobs. So, I don't know, Portia. I don't know. However you see it, it I'll wear it with you, okay? Whatever you want to do out there. You want to, you know, go date married men before they um get a divorce. And you want to call them your husband. You know, I ain't rocking with you on that. I just sit and look at you on the sideline. Then when you're talking like some sense, you got some sense. Then I'll come back and be by your side. But other than that, you know, I kind of lost respect for you, too, when I heard that. But I like to get a benefit of the doubt. I like to get a benefit of the doubt because, you know, everything in the dog going to come to the light. And you ain't going to be able to whitewash it or talk it away. It's just going to be is what it is. And hopefully you can stand in your uh, shoes. Okay, no stilettos when it come around and it shows you in a different light that you actually went in and pursued this man when he was still married. But let's know that here nor there. That's just me talking, okay? Yeah, we're talking about going to bring Sheree back. Oh, 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 okay. We know how that went when the last time we brought her back. I'm like, where Phaedra at? Okay, where is Phaedra? That is the money maker. I guess she wants too much money to come back. But they just don't want to uh, take a chance on her doing something crazy again. Uh, and, and finding all these salacious stories to bring on the cast members. That may or may not be true. But isn't that the world? Isn't that the world we live in? We're going back to the article. It said uh, it had some little sh uh, shake ups. You know, because he was thirteen, it was dry. It was dry like a a, a piece of toast that ain't got no butter on it. You know what I'm saying? A piece of toast that have no butter on it. He didn't want to have a nerve to be crunching. Oh wow, that's pretty much how season thirteen was dry. I like the Sahara Desert, okay? But anyway, uh, you know, we had that little thing with Bolo and Portia and Tanya and all them trying to say they slept with them and just that in the third and put their relationships with their boyfriends, fiancés or husbands in jeopardy. And, you know, Tanya called herself getting out the picture all together just to let the press die down and the scandals die down and what they were trying to put on her name, which was salt. I ain't, I ain't, uh, she's like, uh-uh, y'all ain't gonna put the salt on my name, honey. I'm the only one that's gonna stir up the flavor, and I ain't taking that as an ingredient. So let me just buy all gracefully, and i catch y'all on the back side. Okay, what I would tell you, she's got too much going on in real life. She's trying to fake the pump over here for a storyline. She's like, mm-mm, not me. Tanya just slid herself on. <laughs> and I said, well, darling, they could bring Shamari back. <laughs> You know, they try to play her like a little drunken lush, and Candy didn't help on the situation. She was aiding and abetting, okay? Aiding and abetting the Shamari debacle uh, by putting her in a bad light. How she came in a look. Oh, yeah, I remember that, Candy. I remember, girl. I remember. But anyway, um, let me see. It was basically the time I was shake up. You know, and all that. It was just dry. Season 13 was dry. Everybody knows season 13 was dry. And all the reason most people watched it because they ain't had nothing else going on in their life at the time. And that was the only reality show that could probably <sighs> hold their attention for a certain amount of time. And then they just had to let it go. Well, you know, I had to let it go after Nene left. I, I just really didn't see anything. Because Nene just liked throwing stuff. And I liked it. And it didn't have nobody to fight with. He didn't have anybody to fight with. Because to me, Kenya and Nene were very good sparring partners. You know what I'm saying? Go tick the pack, go pull stuff in the air, be spitting and carrying on all that stuff. And then he bring to the show. Okay, and Ken, um, Kenya was backing it up and all ready to twirl on like a tornado and, and, and just blow things out of control. And I was still forward. But now it's just all stale. 
Everybody just want to play politically correct on the show. I mean, we had Kim. Kim was just running from all the cast members that were black. She didn't care. She just had them as her uh, servants or, you know, attendees or something to that. Would they tend to her these? But she had in that she, she had she like a rich woman on the plantation, honey. A rich woman on the plantation. But anyway, uh, you know, but I do admire uh, Candy for coming out, uh, talking and doing a, a Q and A question and answer segment with Amazon on live and you know, telling them I'm coming back. I got my letter. I can't say about the other ones, but but I ain't friends with them like that. So I'm like, what? You and Candy and um, Candy, when you all uh, in touch and friendly with Kenya and Cynthia and Eve, well, maybe not Eve. When you get in good graces with Portia, I'm like, what do you mean y'all ain't y'all ain't talking and none of that? So I, don't, I don't understand. I really don't understand. But anyway, she was over there chit chatting it up with Club Bravo fan on Instagram. She was letting them know, you know, the, the season gonna be starting soon in September. She can't wait for it. Uh, and she goes on to say, quote, as of now, I am told that I will be coming back on. Candy got her breast reduction real on camera. We have not started filming yet. We are supposed to be starting soon. I cannot give you any exact dates because they haven't given me any exact date. And then they really haven't gotten me or given me permission to talk about it. That's Real Housewives of Atlanta. Usually it starts filming during the season, summer season, but was pushed back after delay in casting. Something very common this year for the Housewives franchise. Whatever production for Real Housewives Positive Atlanta starts. Candy admitted that she's decided to start filming because I'm excited to see who's going to be in the mix this season. I'm like, oh, Candy, you just ready to start filming so they can cut them checks. I don't know it, girl. You ain't got to say it. I would have said it, though, honey. It's time to get paid again. You know, it's been a little drought, a little drought with the restaurants and all this kind of stuff. And me trying to make more money and more adventures, and I need my money to be able, my stable money, to be able to do what I need. Do, okay, and fill the pots back up because I got a child in college and you know she's trying to do her little thing. I need to keep that tuition going for her. Her, her dad ain't helping me, he, he, he ain't helping me, he just giving me a lot of grief, okay. But it just is what it is, you know. You didn't mess with a man that was married, Candy, so it's is what it is. Uh, people in glass houses should throw stones. That's all I'm saying, Candy. Just go on, take care of you and yours, and don't worry about what happened in the past, okay. But we ain't worried about it. All right, but when you keep bringing stuff up like that, we, we become a little bit more interested in it, and we start to have a little talk about it, a little talk of talk for the people that got a platform to have a little talk of talk about it. But, you know, you know, you shouldn't have been over there messing with no married man, but, you know, sometimes men be lying, saying they trying to lead their wife, they in, in the process of getting a divorce, this, that, and third, but yeah, they just really want to smash. They just want to cook it, honey. But, you know, we as humans, we fall for it, and you know, men do the same thing. Women saying they're gonna leave their husbands, regardless that they just be playing games. So you just got caught up. I understand. We forget you, but we're moving on. Then we got old Andy Cohen over here talking about uh he got six things and he threw it out, you know, uh you know, but and I'm like, who are you talking about, Anna? Are you talking about the same six? Are you, or, you know, it's it's taught that Sheree's supposed to come back. Is, she, is that true? Is she coming back, man? I'm like, we need to replace Andy Cohen. That's why I, I really need to. We don't need to clear pop no more. We need a fresh new face, a fresh new host, and, you know, it's fresh, okay? I, I'm just tired of him, okay? It could be any race, any ethnicity. It, it doesn't matter. Old, uh, young, whatever. We just need to replace him. Because I'm tired of it. I'm, I'm sick of him. You know, he's just dry. He dry, dry, dry. And maybe that may revive the show itself. Okay? Because they'll have a better storyline. they have a better host. They'll have a better interviewer. And we'll have to be going through all these changes. But, uh, like I said, Candy, like, went on to tell, you know, stroking her ego. She here, she here, she here for the cast. She here for the Kiki's, the Oz, and everybody. But like I said, you know, Candy doing her thing, honey. She even had a little segment where she was videoing. Her uh breast reduction. I'm like, okay, can tell us what you want us to know, honey. Tell us what you want us to know. Because the stuff that you don't want us to know about the restaurants and all that kind of stuff, you ain't trying to give us no feedback. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you might be taking something that's coming up on your spinoff that's going to show, you know, an inspector there. And they're going to be, you know, giving you low points for scoring. And you be cutting up. You want to cuss them out and all that kind of stuff. But in throwing them out, you know, possibility in your mind, I know you want to be doing that, but you don't, you can't do it. You know what I'm saying? What we think in our mind, it's not very kosher. We can't do it in, in public form, and we can't do it in real life, or we'll be locked up somewhere, okay? Or in another house. However you want to see it. 
But anyway, that's all I had for this uh, little segment of has Candy lost her mind or has Bravo lost their minds or are we getting a new cast? I don't know what the title is. I'm sure I'll think of something before the end of the video and I publish it, okay? But who do y'all want to come back? Who do y'all not want to come back? You know, I, I keep saying trash the whole thing. If you ain't going to start with a new group of people, new group of women, instead of seeing these same old women doing the same old thing in and out, day and night, night and day, every day during the week, same old mess. No flavor, no new nothing, no nothing, okay? It's a bunch of mess. But, uh, yeah, they said it was a reality show, but it's turned out to be more so of a censored show and a scripted show. Because, shoot, I know Candy uh, uh, got some uh, skeletons in her closet. You know, she can talk about the restaurant, she can talk about her husband, she can talk about her fooling around with other women or men. So give us something new to bite on. Give us something new. Because even Candy trying to throw some stuff out there. Lisa Dora and her husband, I don't know. I don't know why we even got them. I'm like, bring Shamara back. Shoot, bring the stage room back, okay? But that would be good about Shamara back. But I don't think she would come back. Y'all played her wrong. She said probably did her wrong with all that editing, making her look like a lush, a drunk. And she had a family, a lovely family, kids, and they're going to be watching this. I'm like, yeah, it's going to be for the archives. It's going to be for the archives. But hopefully your children will not partake of the foolishness, the silliness, the ratchetness, and it just go past them. Okay? Uh, but that's all I have for this video. I would love to see Nene come back. But you know, hey, love her like because she was the underdog, honey. And she played her role. Yes, she did. It's like if Kenya didn't come back. Hey, I got to say, you got to like her love her, honey. She played her role in that villain. Right, she didn't really give me nothing from start to finish. I mean, her ex-husband, when we had him on the show, um, on the Real Housewives were on the show, and, and he was filming with her, he took the spotlight from her. So I'm like, what we got going on? Seriously, we don't even want to hear about all uh, Mike. We don't, we're really not Magic Mike. We don't want to hear about him. We don't have even to talk about, you know, with her colorism and all that stuff that she be doing. You know, talking outside of her neck here and there when she wants to. Just crazy stuff. Just crazy stuff. Don't need to have Eva back. I don't know where she is. She's telling Rick from Smile Show or something. At least she's doing something. My kids, let her raise them. But yes, that's all I have for this video. Y'all stop by another time and we'll talk. Yes, we'll talk about whatever we choose to talk about, whatever the topic we're referring to. And we'll get both sides. Your side, my side, and then the side that automatically uh, weighs out. Okay? Because it's everybody's perspective of how they see something. And we all just, you know, we just shoot a fat. And we just do tit for tat, okay? Or we just let it be. Let it be. And how I'm putting on Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14, 15, 16, 17, 29,000 they want to make. It's never going to be like the same original cast with a little shake up. Never going to be the same. But hey, it is what it is. Mine is drama, entertainment. And we just get with it. That's all I got. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye. Oh, don't forget to share and subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.